Triple. Oh, beautiful shooting, mate. Triple. Triple dipple. Trying something a little bit different today. Hope you can all see us all right. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're on a field of drilling. It's actually beans. We've got one, two, three fields in here. And then yesterday when we come and had a look, there must have been, what, 2,000 pigeons? Easy, a lot. Easy. We'll come, we'll come a bit early so we can do a bit of recording. Uh, so basically what we've got, we've got the wind behind us. What I'll do, I'll show you the setup of the hide and that. We've got in some trees. Um, a line, there's a line of trees behind the camera with a bit of waste ground and that behind there. We've got actually got really lucky and we can actually park behind uh, and get all the kit out. So there ain't much to, uh, you know, heavy lifting and carrying backwards and forth. So what the plan is, we're going to set up here, put the decoys in. We're going to try not to use the magnet for a start. It's what's being a bit sunny, so the, the uh, rotation of the magnet, casting shadow on the ground might put them off. So we've got, oh, how many enforcer decoys you got, mate? 24. So Aaron's got 24, I've got about 30 with me. So we're just going to set up a massive pattern. Aaron's going to park his truck down the bottom. We're going to put a couple of rope bangers out on the other fields. It's a bit of a tricky area, really. We've got an industrial estate behind us. We've got an housing estate to the left of us, and you can probably see in the distance We've got an housing estate over there. We're well away from everything. Uh, we phoned the police. So, yeah, hopefully, mate, it's going to be a good day. You never know, do you? Wow. Actually, it's actually Harry that got us the permission to come on here. So, thanks again, mate. Right, thank you. So, uh, let's see how we get on. Well, as the saying goes, technology is a wonderful thing when it's working correctly. Now, somehow, I've lost the audio on these next few clips. So basically, we're just talking about the setup. We're using a horseshoe pattern setup, and um, we're using enforcer decoys. We're going to use a couple of flappers. Not going to use the magnets. And that. So uh, I will put a diagram of the uh, pattern that we have got out. So as I previously said, we're using the horseshoe pattern today. Um, we're going to leave a 35 yard gap roughly from tail to tail. We'll add two flappers to the front of the horseshoe. Hopefully that will draw the birds up more to the front of the pattern uh, of the kill zone. But as always, pigeons never read the script and it never they never go how you want. He's not, it's going to drop, look. Beautiful. Missed it with the fuck. Wait, that last one. Yeah. Look at them coming out.
been going about uh, what a couple of hours? Yeah, two hours now. A couple of hours. We've got thirty-five mixed bag of rooks and pigeons. No, they're not hundred percent decoying properly, mate. Are they? We've got a pretty decent set up now. Um, a bunch here. There's a field behind us. I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro. And the flying there's, um, there's a field behind us on the left. And a lot. Yeah, this one's cool. There's a lot of them cutting up the field, middle of the field, cutting left now. So uh, yeah, um, so I reckon they're going on the field behind us. So I mean, it's only 500 yards behind us. So I might have a walk up there and just stick a uh, rope bangers on there, stick there, and uh, just see if it solves the problem. But, uh, yeah. It's going on. What do you? What do you? It Oh, beautiful shot, Harry. <laughs> yeah, it's dead. Yeah, that. Yeah, look at all these little left coming. Good boy. Triple. Oh, beautiful shooting, mate. Triple. Triple dipple. Me. Yeah, I've needs enough. Wait for the wood is. right on top of it. Shot. Shot of the day so far kid that is, isn't it? Shot. Fucking hell. That was safe catch on me. We've got to say about that one, Dwayne. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. Yeah, it's going all right, mate, isn't it? Steady away. It's slowed down, it's slowed down a bit now. It's slowed down quite a bit now. Um, yeah, 56, we've got 
we're going to pack up about four because Harry's got a dinner date tonight, so he's off there. So we're going to pack up then. Yeah, steady away. Um, some good shots, aren't they? Oh yeah, some cracking shots, yeah. We've moved Harry's truck down a bit and it's made a lot of difference. Instead of them going up the top, it's pushing them more this way, but again, they're just coming past us, they're just coming around us. So, uh, yeah, it's um, making some interesting shooting. Spotted one. Uh, too far, mate. Oh, one he ain't. Oh, turned him inside out. <laughs> right, we'll get back to you in a bit. Dwayne's just gone out and had a tidy up. Gonna try and put the magnet out, see if it livens things up a bit more. No, it's uh, steadied up a bit now. What we on? 57. We've got, we've got a few belly up, a few scattered about everywhere. There they go. Left, left, left. Right, 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 right. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, naughty, naughty. What's that he's gonna do? Where's all these come from? I wonder if someone's put them off that field. Yeah. Spider swallowed the spider to eat the fly, swallowed the fly. Oh, I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Coming back. No. Oh, now then. Something today. Shot boy. Hey, they're only four yards. Shot. And again in front. Come on then. Yeah. 
Is he gonna come? Here he comes, look. Yeah, he's gonna come. Don't miss it. He ain't gonna come. He's turning in it. Social, aren't they, Harry? Larry, today? Hey. Oh, we're going to try those colour. Yeah. Oh, this one's not antisocial, Harry. Here it is. Oh, he is. Is he? Just turned down at the last minute. Turn back again. Is he? Is what about this one that's just coming? Look. Oh, he looks interested, you know. Right. Oh, now then, now then. Is it free that time? Yeah. So, Harry, can you inform the viewers what's just happened behind us? Wow. We just had uh, some well, spectators. Yeah, we just had some spectators, haven't we, mate? Yeah. yeah what is what this? What is this? Oh, Basically. This is pigeon control. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Thank you. That was very polite, wasn't that? Yeah, very polite, but it's taking your um, catalytic converter off your truck. I can't say that, Harry. Of course you can't, I doesn't see him do it. He can't say that Let's about our uh, Eastern, Eastern European Eastern family. Yeah, look, there's another one coming, look. He's, oh, it's two. Here you go, look. Oh. That's it, mate, finish them off, don't walk off then. the Louis, 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 Harry's just gone to pick his truck up. Uh, so I he said oh, I'll stop here shooting while he uh, picks his truck up because he might bag a couple of more, which I have. Um, 
They actually managed to tie it off, well, the day started off really well. The decoy was absolutely perfect, they did. And uh, funneling in from the right hand side of us, coming round straight into the decoy bus. And then there's another flight line from the left of us coming in, and I was coming in lovely. About an hour and a half, three quarters in, and they just switched off and went a bit funny. Uh, we put a couple of flappers out. They worked for a while, they started coming in again, a bit of movement in the pattern. Um, and that, that, that started, they started shining out then. So we just switched them off and left them like bouncers. They started coming in well. And as the afternoon's gone on, they started shining out a bit more. So we put the magnet out for a bit. That worked well for a bit and then they got used to that. And uh, yeah, and so we brought the magnet in and uh, we've just they've been decoying for the last hour and a half so, and what's wanted to come in is coming and what I wanted to come they've gone by like so wait for Harry to get back and then we'll start getting collected up um, we ended up with 92 over the day as I say it got difficult in the afternoon they just turned off weren't, didn't want interested um, but say good good bag, shots, so, they? yeah there's been some cracking shots so we've got uh, some corvids in there as well. I think there's about 12 in there. So yeah, eight pigeons and 12 corvids. So a cracking afternoon sport, mate, isn't it? Good fun, very good fun. Yeah. So anyway, so if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to show your support by giving the video a like, a share and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to press the notification bell, then click notify. That way you'll be notified of every video that I post to my channel. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Hope to see you all very soon. Bye for now.